Hello everyone, so here is Munir Lazuzi from EasyMedicalDevice.com and today I just wanted to make uh, you a quick overview, a quick check of our uh, our EQMS SmartEye. So SmartEye is a software, a cloud software that uh, can help you to manage your quality management system by uh, storing your documents, by also uh, reviewing, approving collaboration with your team. Uh, and it's in compliance with 21 CFR Part 11. It's also in compliance with the requirements of uh, ISO 13485. Uh, or even FDA QMS, uh, QSMR. Uh, so you can use uh, this uh, software for any um, quality management system work. And here you have the options to use just a document-based system, which means that you can just uh, place documents inside, get approval or whatever. But you can also use our workflows that we have already defined for you, workflows for compliance, for CAPA, for NC, etc. And it's your, your decision. You decide what you want to do, but you can do both. If you are more uh, used to do like documentation to fill by hand and scan and place, etc. So you can do that if you want, but you can also use our workflow, which is really convenient for you. So let's um, jump to it now. So here is the first um, uh, view. So mainly you have the dashboard where you can see the different uh, elements of uh, the software. Uh, here you have the My Task Pending. Uh, so mainly uh, the, this is the place where all the tasks that will be sent to you will be there. So you just have to look at it and see what is the task and click on it. And then you'll, you'll be arriving directly at the place where this task uh, is uh, located. And then you can work on it. Uh, just coming back. Uh, your dashboard here so uh, then you have this uh, task pending you have also the notifications uh, if you have any information or if you place the date because you can place some dates on the actions or the elements that you have and you can be alerted oh the date is due so you have to do that like if you want to place a date for uh, this procedure should be in place by this date so then you get notification to say no it was not done or uh, they are still uh, it's still pending so you get alerted and I will show you another function later with the regulatory uh, regulatory part. So uh, this is that. And um, you have then also all the indicators. So you can have a lot of indicators that are available. And you can see mainly how it is um, displayed here. Um, so this is mainly the idea of showing uh, showing you um, the situation of your processes within your quality management system. What is great is that you can take those do information and place them on your management review also. So this is uh, something important. Then you have the first module, which is the project module, where here you can um, create a project. Project means service project or product project or whatever, where you can also place inside your uh, design and development file, the DMF, uh, you can place uh, the DMR, or the design master record, uh, you can place your technical file, your 510K, all the documents that are needed for a certain product, you can place them inside. So you have uh, this um, place where yeah you have all those dossiers that you can create on the site for a specific product and then uh, mainly this is helping you to um, yeah fulfill the requirements for the different regulation not only MDR not only ISO 1345 but mainly any regulations in in the world so you can you can place your documents there and then you can send them for review and approval to your collaborator, collaborators and during an audit you can show to the um, auditor mainly the documents that are uh, approved by your colleagues and you have the tracking of the approval, the audit trail for the approval. Then uh, you have the change control, so you can also, each time you do a change, you can also issue a change control and then uh, record this change and uh, explain what was mainly, why you make a change and the reason why it's not maybe a significant change. Also, we have this tracking also, is it a significant change or not? Uh, so this is something that can be helpful there. Um, here, here is the same, so you have some, I mean, I don't have access here, but you have a workflow also, so we can look at that. But if you don't want to use this workflow, you can use, as I said, a paper-based uh, solution. Then we have the quality management system piece where you have all your quality management system documentation like uh, procedures, uh, templates, documents, etc. And here is the same, you can have the different steps for the documents. For example, this one is in draft. Uh, this one is in, not, there is no one here. This one is in review, for example, here. So it's sent to review for somebody, etc. Et until this one is sent for approval uh, for someone, etc. Et so you can have the uh, different uh, situation for each of those products one by one, uh, each of those documents one by one, and mainly uh, check uh, what is their status. And as soon as the document is approved, 
then you will have the electronic signatures, <coughs> I mean the tracking first. Those two pages are created by the system, so first page and second page. And the last page is created also by the system where you have the electronic signatures. All the pages in the middle are the pages that are um, created by you. Uh, and then uh, as soon as it gets approved, then uh, the system will create those additional pages to track uh, those uh, information of the products mainly. And you can see all, all the information about the products, uh, about the document. I always say products, it's not documents. <laughs> so here is for the quality management system. Uh, and here you can also give uh, some restriction. You can ha give restriction to people to that they are able to see or not able to see. You can also give restriction to people that only this person can make the review and approval for this document or only this person can be the author for this document, etc. So we have here a, a section where you can, uh, let me, Take for example uh, this person, I don't know who it is, but uh, it's just a test environment. Um, and you have here all the possibility to say, oh, this person can be the author for that, but it should be the reviewer and approver for that. So it will not be able to be the author for this, etc. Et so you can uh, do that. And you can also hide uh, everything. You can also make a read only for certain people. So this is the way where you can restrict access or give access to certain people only. And only the administrator can do that. Uh, then what we have, then we have uh, the training section where we can uh, assign training to people, uh, assign internal training, so training that are with the, within the EQMS, but also external training. You say, oh, I have been trained externally with another company. Then here is the assignment of this training. And when you finish the training, you receive your diploma or attestation of participation, and then you can place it inside also. So the objective here is to show to an auditor that yes, you are you are trained to all the processes that are in your quality management system or external external training also. Uh, what else? Uh, let me get out from here. So here, here. Uh, then you have the non-conformities. So then the same as I said, you can use the paper-based solution where you fill the documents and then you scan them or you place them directly on the system, or you can use our workflows. So let me pick one. Uh, where you can create a non-conformity and then you have a specific workflow that is defined here with all the different steps and the idea is mainly that you will be just following the different steps one one after the other and signing the, the, the non-conformity and it will be registered with the people that have been assigned to that or that have been uh, assigned some activities also for it. So if you receive an activity from a non-conformity, you will get a notification uh, also. Uh, next, uh, also the same for compliance. So you have here the same. We have some workflow also for the compliance. Uh, you have also the kappa, the same. You have workflows also for the kappa. Yeah, you have workflows here for the kappa also. And we have you can fill all those information and you have the workflow to follow directly. Uh, what else? You have then the supplier uh, management where you can uh, register your suppliers. And then you can follow also a workflow to uh, approve your supplier, to evaluate and approve your supplier. And here you can also re-evaluate. You can put a date to say, I want to re-evaluate this supplier in one year. And then you get a notification. As I said, on the notification place, you can receive a notification saying that, oh, uh, I need to do this uh, re-evaluation for this supplier. Uh, next is the regulatory part. So if you are registering your products in many parts of the world, then you can also here place uh, each registration that you are doing and which documents uh, you have filled, etc. And then you can get an eye on also the dates of when maybe your registration is due. For example, maybe some registration are due after five years. Then uh, you can get a notification to say, uh, you can say, oh, contact, um, inform me in two years that my, um, or in three years that my registration will be due in uh, five years so that you are preparing the documentation for redoing the recertification of the products because sometimes you need maybe to submit two years before or three years before uh, the, the end of your li license. So it's why uh, they will it will inform you by having a notification about it. Uh, what else we have? We have also the uh, repository. Mainly it's a SharePoint where you can place documents that are the way there is no need of uh, a review approval uh, uh, for, for that. You can just place documents there like contract that are already signed or this and that. And you can also restrict access so people can maybe not look at that. So if you want to have a folder specifically for human resources and only human resources have access, then you can place that uh, here also. And the last one is mainly the 
uh, administrative uh, f uh, part where you if you are an administrator you can then uh, accept uh, create some users and the users have different types of licenses so you can have the full license with administrator right or you can have a license that is just for um, quality management system or design and development or kappa etc and you can have also a license for view only because we know that in a company we have a lot of people that are not doing anything on the quality management system but they need the documents that are on the quality management system so the idea here is that they can only view the documents but also they can be trained on the documents so you can also train those people uh, on the documents uh, so this is mainly the way uh, this is the lowest license price here and this is the way that people can also uh, get still in contact with your quality management uh, system uh, so here it is <coughs> let me know if you have any questions I hope this um, this uh, EQMS will be helpful for you. Uh, so the idea here is that uh, we are helping for uh, mainly uh, working on the uh, ISO 13485 or FDA QMSR. But as you see here, even if you are ISO 9001, even if you are ISO 14001, all those things can be also adapted to that. So don't hesitate to contact us if you have any need of us, this type of electronic quality management system because with that you will show that you are compliant and you will always follow a certain process so your team will always follow a certain process so there will be uh, less errors so less non-conformity so less burden for for you so don't hesitate to contact us at info at easymedicaldevice.com because we are help, be able to help you uh, also on the uh, implementation of this uh, of this um, electronic quality management system so thank you very much and i wish you a nice day